One of the banks put to the test by Europe was Banco Espirito Santo. It, along with other Portuguese lenders, passed the stress tests. But for Portugal's largest publicly traded bank, the good news didn't end there. This morning it posted a 15% rise in first half net income. Well, joining me now on the phone from Lisbon is the bank's CEO, Ricardo Salgado. First of all, thank you for taking the time uh, to speak to us this morning. Now, you passed the stress test and you face a no requirement to boost your capital, but would you consider shoring up your capital further anyway? Well, Andrea, to start, I would like to thank you for having me uh, with you. It's a pleasure. And um, what I believe is that this uh, stress test was a good exercise on account of the information disclosed. And uh, this may contribute to the improvement of market conditions in Europe, gradually leading to a normalizable sale debt market. Well, for sure, uh, when we grow, we have to strengthen the capital. But uh, I believe the capital of the bank is quite strong. We have a quarter one of 7.9% as of 30 of June. So we are pretty much confident. Well, what I would like to point out is that the stress test was made first for the parent company because the supervision and the consolidation uh, is in the parent company SFG and the uh, stress test for the bank will be delivered the 6th of August according with the Bank of Portugal rules. Therefore, we believe that the stress test for BS will be even higher than the one for ESFG. Now, you also reported uh, a 15% increase in uh, net income for the first half. Are you going to be able to uh, sustain those results across the year? Well, we, are, we have been showing in the, during all these crises that started, as a matter of fact, in 2007, a resilient set of results. And uh, we believe that we will continue to grow, uh, primarily because we have a important contribution from, from our international business. Uh, the contribution as of 30 of June was 34 percent, 96 million euros, billion, uh, million euros, sorry. And uh, then uh, our international business continued to flow, primarily supported with exports of Portugal and the finance of the corporate business. The Portuguese uh, corporate business, has, uh, they have been able to export to emerging countries, uh, Portuguese-speaking countries in the South Atlantic region. I would, uh, I would stress Angola, Brazil, Mozambique and even in the north of Africa. So we have been assisting an important diversification of our exports in Portugal. OK, thank you very much indeed, Ricardo Salgado there of Espirito Santo Bank in Portugal.